Sparta, Gerard Butler. The mimetic delivery of the line, this is Sparta, was actually not that highly emphasized in the comic book novel, nor the original script. According to Gerard Butler, after they'd finished filming the scene as scripted, he asked them to do one more take, and then delivered the line in the now famous manner. This is Sparta! Scream, stunt woman. In the movie Scream, there is a scene where Sydney dresses up in the ghost face costume and stabs Billy with an umbrella. The stunt woman in the costume had poor visibility and accidentally stabbed Billy in the chest where he had a wire from heart surgery. The screams of pain you hear from him are real. Django, Leo DiCaprio. During the filming of a scene in Django Unchained, Leonardo DiCaprio accidentally cut his hand open. Despite this, he chose to continue acting, even smearing his blood on Kerry Washington's face. My price for this nigga here is too steep. After the scene ended, the cast and crew gave him a standing ovation. Transformers. Scorponok Explosion In Transformers, the scene where Scorponok bursts out of the sand, chasing the soldiers, was achieved by detonating a prime accord beneath the sand. The explosions in the scene were set to occur in close proximity, posing a significant danger to the actors. Therefore, before filming, director Michael Bay instructed the actors to run continuously, regardless of what occurred. He emphasized that failing to do so could result in serious injury or even death, Consequently, the panic displayed on the actors' faces is entirely genuine. Noah's Ark Flood Scene Noah's Ark was a semi-silent film directed by Michael Curtiz. If executed today, his actions during its filming could lead to imprisonment for murder. In an attempt to amplify the realism of the infamous flood scenes, Curtiz had hundreds of thousands of gallons of water poured onto masses of extras scrambling to get onto the set's Ark. Tragically, three extras lost their lives on camera, and numerous others sustained serious injuries. The Omen Catherine Damien During the filming of the notorious scene in The Omen, where Catherine and Damien visit the zoo and monkeys attack their car, Lee Remy's reaction was genuine. The filmmakers had provocatively placed a baby monkey in the car, prompting the monkeys to attack the vehicle. Poltergeist, Joe Beth Williams. In Poltergeist, the scene where the character of Joe Beth Williams has to crawl through a sea of corpses to reach her daughter involved the use of real skeletons. Steven Spielberg, the director, believed that plastic props would not provide the necessary realism. <laughs> Williams was not informed about the use of real skeletons until after the scene was shot. The decision to use real skeletons was made primarily because they were cheaper and more cost-effective than creating and using synthetic replicas. Sleepy Hollow, Ian McDiarmid. According to the director's commentary on the Sleepy Hollow DVD, the scene in the church where the doctor is killed by a blow to the head, they accidentally hit Ian McDiarmid so hard that he ended up having to go to the hospital. American Pie, Matt Stifler. During the filming of a scene in American Pie Presence, Bandcamp, where Matt Stifler strips naked during a trivia game, actor Tad Hilgenbrink actually did strip naked on set. He had not informed the actresses of his intention to do so. They assumed that his genitals would be covered in some way, and as a result, their surprised reactions were genuine. <coughs> Back to the Future 3. Hang Scene In his memoir, Lucky Man, Michael J. Fox, recounts that while filming the scene where Marty is hanged in Back to the Future Part 3, he actually didn't get his hand in the right place on one take and actually blacked out due to suffocation. Alien, chest burst. For the chest burster scene in Alien, the effects used to achieve the scene were deliberately kept secret from the actors whose reactions of surprise and shock were completely genuine. The Graduate, Dustin Hoffman. In the last part of The Graduate, director Mike Nichols didn't tell the actors Dustin Hoffman and Catherine Ross when he'd stopped filming. The script didn't mention any specific facial expressions, so he let the camera roll to capture their natural emotions. There's something about Mary, Ben Stiller. In the movie, there's something about Mary, 
The paramedics accidentally drop the stretcher with Ben Stiller on it, as they load it into the back of an ambulance. This was not a planned scene, but a genuine mistake. The Goonies, One-Eyed Willie. The Goonies director, Richard Donner, wanted the child actors in the film to be in complete awe when they first set eyes on One-Eyed Willie. The crew built an actual pirate ship on a soundstage, but the kids were denied access to the set. The cast finally saw the ship for the first time during actual filming, meaning their jaw-dropping reactions are 100% genuine. The only issue was that some of the kids were so amazed by the spectacle that they dropped a few curse words. The scene needed to be reshot a second time without the profanity. This is the end, Michael Cera. In, this is the end. Michael Cera asks Rihanna if he could grope her behind, which she allows if she gets to slap him in return. She hit him in the face so hard he had to lie down from the dizziness. True Lies, Arnold. In a scene from True Lies, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Harry Tasker, was supposed to smash a car window in frustration during an argument with Gibb, portrayed by Tom Arnold. However, Schwarzenegger mistakenly hit the wrong window, making Tom Arnold's reaction completely genuine. Take Shelter, Michael Shannon. Did you know the extras in Take Shelter were only told they would get a free lunch and be in a movie? So their stunned and horrified reaction to Michael Shannon's fight with Shea Wiggum and subsequent freakout was dead real. Lord of the Rings, Aragorn. When Aragorn kicks a helmet out of frustration in the Lord of the Rings, he lets out an unscripted roar that was actually the result of actor Viggo Mortensen breaking his toe. On the waterfront, Marlon Brando. During a crucial scene between Marlon Brando and Eva Marie Saint, Saint unintentionally dropped one of her gloves. Without missing a beat, Brando picked up the glove and began playing with it during the scene. Elia Kazan has stated that the best directing he ever did was choosing not to yell cut the moment she dropped the glove. Skippy, Jackie Cooper, child actor. Jackie Cooper was coerced into crying for a scene in Skippy by a director who threatened to shoot his dog. <laughs> Go away from me! This event was so traumatic for Cooper that he titled his autobiography, Please Don't Shoot My Dog, highlighting the lasting impact of the incident. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Tim Curry. In the Rocky Horror Picture Show, all of the actors except Tim Curry were kept in the dark about Eddie's corpse under the tablecloth. Therefore, their shocked reactions were genuine. X-Men, Hugh Jackman. In X-Men, Sabretooth throws Wolverine off the Statue of Liberty, and the following scene shows Wolverine slamming his claws into the side of the torch to halt his fall. According to an interview with Jackman, the harness he was wearing slipped and pinched him in an extremely uncomfortable place. Therefore, his on-screen screams of rage are in fact genuine screams of pain. <laughs> 